I am demonstrating today the public harness application on a model of the baby, which is called public harness module. These are the components of the public harness. This is called chest halter with chest belt and shoulder buckles and the anterior strap buckles. This is the shoulder straps and this is the foot strap for stabilization and maintaining the position. We have to reduce the hip. You must train the mother how to reduce the hip and maintain the position as per need and as per reduction. Paula can give the good seasonal clothes and they be on first. Then start with the application of the chest halter, which should be not so tight, not so loose. At least two finger space must be there to have the easiness. And this belt is around near the nipple and be careful about the axilla. Then apply the shoulder straps for stability of the halter. Different type of the velcro is also available and belts are available. So don't be in the problem if this is not like ideal one. This is the position marking for, for reapplication again. Once the shoulder straps are fixed, you must check the stability again and it should not be so tight around the shoulder as well. And again you check the position and the stability as well. Now the foot straps straps has to be fixed like this. This is the far heel and these are the buckles for stability around the leg. Once you apply this, you have maintained the position in abduction and flexion. Flexion, this is the flexion flexor strap. You apply this flexor strap. Fix at the 90 degree desirable position, but it can go up to one 10 degree, not over 110 degree, the flexion of the hip joint. Then apply on other side. Same method. And then the flexor strap. Fix it in the 90 degree position maybe up to 110 degree maximum. This is called the flexor strap. So this is the flexion of the hip, which you have already reduced. Now change the baby's position for the abduction strap. This is abduction strap. When you pull it, it abducts. So it maintains the abduction of the hip joint, which should be around 70 degree not over 70 degree to prevent the sciatic nerve injury or any other injuries, right? Then again, on this side, abduction strap. This is also called as abduction prevention straps because it has to be maintained in abduction. So this is the Abduction is maintained around the 70 degree, 50 degree on both sides. This is the shoulder straps on the shoulder and this is the flexion strap which maintains the 90 degree position of the flexion and good safe application of the pelvic harness to maintain the reduction. You can change the nappy every day, anytime, but for bath, you have to first dismantle again this 
put stress, flexor stress, lose it, remove it, then the tarso or the chest halter has to be removed. Similarly, there is Velcro is also available instead of buckles, uh, instead of this type of buckles, which are very easy to maintain, but there may be sometimes the slips around. Therefore, different types of these straps are available in the market, which is ever available with the standard design, you can use it. If it is safe, you can also wash this straps whenever they become needed because this is over this is four months treatment you have to use for shoulder straps in the only removal of the shoulder straps and the arlet harness is ready to be removed and baby is ready for the bath and once bath is done you seasonal clothes again and reapply baby as with the similar way. This is another baby with a public harness already applied there. Thank you.